So this is a person who I help finally get a WeChat account to start talking to suppliers in China. WeChat is always updating and most of you know not having a WeChat is detrimental for your business if you want to source from China. I will show you step by step on exactly how to open a WeChat account in 2021. Oh, and if you guys stay to the end, I will show you a surprise on how to quickly activate your WeChat without having to look for someone to scan your code. So stay tuned. Yes, I had to make a video detailing all the steps from start to finish, maybe a total of 14 to 15 steps, depending on your options. WeChat's always changing its processes for authentication and it is becoming more and more of a hassle. But of course, I wanna show you guys how to do this right now. So step number one, Make sure your phone provider allows to accept texts and calls from China. I've had cases where providers think the calls are spam and they block them automatically. All verification is done by phone with WeChat. Email confirmation is not a thing in China. So if you want to use WeChat, get used to it. My experience is that iPhone 7 or better work best, meaning Apple phones. Sometimes I ran into issues using Android phones, no idea why, but I just realized this with some of my clients. You can still use Android phones, they have worked for some of them, but from my experience, iPhone 7 and above work best. Step number two, after verifying your cell phone provider does not block calls from China, download the latest version of WeChat. I suggest you use the international version found in the Google Store or Apple Store. For it may get complicated when using the Chinese version if you don't have a Chinese phone number. Step number three, on the home screen, click on sign up. And I know this sounds redundant, but you gotta go through the whole process correctly. If not, you're gonna mess the whole thing up. So going on to step number four, select your home country region, as in the same phone area code you're using with your phone number. For example, in the USA, the country code is plus one. So I will select the United States because I'm using a US phone number. Don't select another country where your phone number is different from that country's area code. Your country should be listed on this list that's provided by WeChat. Afterward, create your username. It can only be changed once per year, so think carefully. Then you simply write in your phone number. You don't have to type in the country code here because that's already automatically selected when you select the country you are from. And then create your password then agree to the terms and conditions, and then move on to step number five. Scroll through, or read, if you wish, the privacy policy and agree to the terms. To be frank, there is no privacy when using WeChat, as everything is monitored. This is the price you pay to be able to talk to locals in China. So if you are not okay with this, don't make an account. Note that they can also track your IMEI, so you can't make multiple accounts on the same phone. WeChat algorithms are really smart to detect if you're using the same phone to register different accounts. Then click on the agree bubble and then hit next. Going on to step number six, you need security verification. This simply needs to be done by moving a puzzle piece or maybe some other, some other way of verifying you to make sure you are a human being. Step number seven, and this part is key and the most frustrating in my opinion. You need to find someone that is qualified to scan your QR code to verify you. Usually one month of using WeChat if it's an international user without WeChat Pay, or six months of usage with WeChat Pay activated for Chinese version users. Now here's the kicker. Every person can only scan verification codes once a month, twice every six months, and three times a year. So if I have scanned a code this month, I cannot scan it another friend until next month. Then after I scan that friend the following month, I will have to wait until six months have passed to scan them a third time. To add icing to the cake, each QR code is only valid between one to three minutes. So if you send it to a friend and they take forever to scan the code, you have to start all over with the signup process. This is a policy WeChat added, maybe to avoid robots from creating accounts or controlling the population of users. You may get another screen if there is no QR code for your friend to scan WeChat. In this case, they would have to write down your phone number you're trying to register with through the WeChat team application in WeChat. They have to select the help friend register and continue on with the steps. I recommend avoiding this option because it is a big hassle to go through, especially for the person verifying you. And you may have to uninstall and reinstall WeChat 
so that you don't have to go through this option and you just have the option where you just scan the QR code and go on your day. After you have found someone to scan your QR code within that time period and that meet the criteria, you go on to step number eight, and that is you stay on WeChat and your screen should say verification successful if they've actually scanned your QR code and verified you. When you reach the screen on step eight, make sure to click on back to sign up. Do not click on the X. Avoid the X at all times because if you click on the X, you will have to start all over and you also need to find someone else to scan your QR code because that person that scanned your QR code already used their try for that month. Now going on to step number nine, after you click on back to sign up and not the X, this is the last part of the race. You will receive a one-time password based on the phone number you have written. Remember, I said that your service provider needs to allow for one-time passwords in China, right? Well, if they block the messages, you will need to start over and do the scan QR code again. So make sure your phone provider allows text from China. As a backup, you can click on the verification code received and ask WeChat to call you with a code with your language of choice. You should receive a call within 30 seconds with the code and you must remember this code and input it as the one-time password. Disclaimer! The phone number, as in the SIM card you are using, must be in the same phone you're registering with. Otherwise, it won't work. For example, if I use number 123123 as a phone number, but try to register on my friend's phone with a different phone number, maybe 123456-7890, there are people in China that always finds ways to bypass that and make numerous accounts. So they've gone through a lot of trial and error. So you need to make sure the phone number and the SIM card you're using are on the same device. Now going on to step number 10, after you have successfully gone through the last step of verifying your phone number, you now have a WeChat account. Congratulations, hooray! Going into some FAQs based on the experience I've had with a lot of clients that had to have a WeChat account open for them. How can I avoid getting blocked on WeChat? Well, actually the first 30 days of the account being open, you will be under their most focused surveillance. If you post anything politically sensitive, violent, pornographic material, you are at high risk of getting blocked and never using WeChat again with that phone and phone number. Avoid spamming or scamming people in groups and keep conversations PG-13. Remember, everything is tracked by WeChat. There is just no privacy. It's something you gotta pay for if you wanna use the application. Can I use WeChat Pay? Yes. In the description below, I will put a link for the database of countries that support WeChat Pay. Check if your country is there and all it takes to activate your WeChat Pay is to have someone send you money on WeChat. Note that you will need a valid card and passport to completely use this function. I go into great detail for all the steps using WeChat Pay in this video right here. Can I top up my WeChat Pay? Unfortunately, you can only make online payments, as in delivery, e-commerce like Pingduoduo, with your foreign bank card using WeChat Pay. And can only top up your balance with a Chinese bank card or a sketchy third-party service that offers top-up features. Does WeChat have customer service? Yes, but they are horrible. You can call their WeChat Pay hotline here, I'll put the number somewhere in this video, but they only speak Chinese. Or you can file a ticket under WeChat Teams or Tencent Teams and wait one to three days for a useless response that usually doesn't solve the problem. At least in my case, even in Chinese, with clear pictures depicting the proof and documents they need, they still don't solve the problem. Now, if you are having trouble finding someone to verify your WeChat account, I actually provide services to activate your WeChat account by simply making an appointment. Finding someone who qualifies even in China is quite a troublesome task. As a bonus, if your country qualifies, I will send you some money to get your WeChat Pay activated if you decide to use my service. Link to the service will be in the description down below. And as a special thanks, I will give you a discount code that you can use right here if you do decide to use that service. If you found value from this video, I would really appreciate it if you liked the video, share it with someone that wants to open WeChat in 2021. And if you have any questions that you may be too shy to write down in the comments, which I try to answer on a 24 hour basis, you can reach me directly on my social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, or even my Facebook group. Keep surviving and I'll catch you in the next video. Now, if you just got your WeChat account activated, I highly recommend you watch this video right here about all the features 
you can take advantage of when using WeChat for the first time.